what you guys got another video here for you so you want to say goodbye to Windows 10 and you don't know what options are available for you so Ubuntu have just released their latest version and you can install that on a lot of old hardware and it should work perfectly fine now if even if you've got a newer computer and you're sick and tired of Windows 10 uh, you can go ahead and install something like Ubuntu 20.4 LTS this is the desktop version works pretty well just go ahead and download uh, this from their website and once we got that downloaded we will need another piece of software so we can uh, create our bootable USB flash drive I'll show you the whole process from start to finish very simple and easy to do now the software I've chosen to create a bootable USB flash drive is Etcher it's a pretty straightforward and easy piece of software no complicated uh, setup here you just basically download it select your image select your disk and push uh, continue and it will flash uh, that drive ready for you so I've got those downloaded here in a folder on my desktop I've got my USB flash drive plugged into the computer as you can see here and uh, I'm just going to create this bootable USB flash drive so let's go ahead and open up Etcher now Etcher as I said is very simple and easy to do no complicated uh, GUI here just really simple and easier to do now the recommended system specs for uh, this Ubuntu version is 2 gigahertz dual core processor or better 4 gigabytes of system memory 20 gigabytes of free hard drive space either DVD drive or USB port for the installation media and internet access is always helpful because that will help you get updates and stuff like that so that's what you can do here so you can see some older systems on here maybe their Windows 7 previous generations on here works perfectly well with uh, Ubuntu no problem at all so let's get um, Etcher open here just gonna select the image this is the image here which we downloaded so I'm going to click open and this will put that into the select image section now we need to select a target and this is going to be our USB flash drive so let me select this target you can see here I've got the SanDisk Cruiser Edge USB device here just going to select that by hitting the little tick there and push continue all we're going to do now is click on flash and this will flash the flash drive and get it prepared so you can see here it's just warning me that it knows that the uh, USB flash drive is a larger drive so I'm just going to hit flash and that will start the process off now this does take a bit of time so do be patient it just needs to copy all the files over to the flash drive and then also validate the setup so I'm not going to watch the whole process here because obviously it will bore you to tears but basically all you need to do here is just let that do its thing and you should see something like this flash complete and it's been successful so we can close that off now and take this over to our computer and plug it in once we plug it in it will start to boot up you will need to change the boot order uh, to boot to that USB flash drive I've showed that a million times it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and uh, once you've got that done uh, you should see something like this it's just going to check uh, the drive and stuff like that so let it do its thing and then it will automatically boot up so let's just let that do what it needs to do and then it should take us to the next step now the good thing about any sort of Linux distro here is it's going to allow you to boot up and try it before you actually install uh, the operating system this is where it says try Ubuntu all it will do is it will load up and you'll be able to see what it looks like and you can decide to install from that location if you wish now if you don't want to do that and you just want to go ahead and install Ubuntu by all means click on the install Ubuntu on the right hand side you can select your language on the left hand side depending on where you are in the world and you're pretty much good to go from there now I will say a word of caution here if you've got a Windows operating system on that drive then you have to be very very careful if you go ahead and do the uh, full install where it's going to erase everything because what's going to happen is it will take out all of your um, Windows Drive and stuff partitions and stuff like that so we'll click on install Ubuntu here select our keyboard layout in my case it's uh, English UK click continue here and then move on to the next stage now this is where it says uh, what apps would you like to install to start with we're going to have normal installation 
and we're going to also download some options here which is download updates while installing Ubuntu you will need to have internet access to do this and it's worth doing because it just saves you a load of time so we're going to leave that tick in but if you don't want to do that you can remove that tick install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats I'm going to leave the tick in there because also that does save a bit of time we can go to continue here and move on to the next step now the next step is going to be the more trickier bit because this is where you need to decide whether you want to erase the disk and install Ubuntu and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video now if you do have some sort of partition for Windows 10 or some sort of other operating system on that drive and you want to dual boot then this video is not for the dual boot uh, if you want to see that then let me know in the comment section below and I'll make that video for you so as not to disrupt your previous operating system and you can run this alongside it but in this case we're just going to wipe it all clean and put on Ubuntu and say goodbye to Microsoft altogether but if you do want to keep that then you will need to go to something else and create your own partitions and that is another video in itself because I'm not going to go through the both of these so we're going to do a complete fresh install and erase everything on the drive so there'll be no data left on that drive which means it will wipe all your data off click continue and let that continue on with the installation process we're going to select our location here mine's London and now we need to give it a name so this is basically the name you can put in here you can put your name in it like so or you can put in uh, some other name say for instance like Brightech or whatever you want to do it here I'm just going to put say Brightech just to show you you can either put your real name or some sort of other name that you use now you will see the computer name is Brightech virtual dash machine and this because this is a virtual machine uh, it's the same process for a real machine as it is a virtual machine going to put a password in here which you should do and you can require my password to log in or log in automatically I would advise you to do uh, require my password to log in all the time it's much more secure so we're just going to allow that to copy over some of the files and get this all ready to install so this shouldn't take too long so we'll just let this go ahead and finish off this part now it's very very quick as you'll know to install Linux compared to Windows 10 it's a little bit more cumbersome and slow uh, but this is a lot more faster and a much more enjoyable uh, process compared to Windows so why that's going ahead and installing let me answer some of your questions which will probably be who is this Linux installation designed for a lot of people seem to think that you have to be some sort of highly trained computer expert to use an operating system like this and that's simply not the case it's very straightforward and easy to do once you've got it installed you can do all of the things that you did on Windows you can do that on the Ubuntu installation now obviously there is some things that you can't do on Linux because they're two different operating systems so you will have to train yourself a little bit to use some features uh, which are going to be different to a Windows based system but pretty much you can watch YouTube videos you can surf the web you can edit videos you can edit photos you know you can uh, receive email from here you can do just pretty much what you would do on a Windows based system so what if you're a gamer well if you're a hardcore gamer then I would say still Linux is not quite there just yet it can play a lot more games compared to what it used to uh, but right now Windows still leads the way when it comes to trouble free gaming now of course some games you can get working on Linux but you have to jump through a bunch of hoops to get them working and even then they're not 100% compatible and of course there's going to be some other issues that you may run into so putting that aside if you just play the odd game that this can handle by all means jump ship and move over to Linux but if it's a hardcore gamer then obviously I would say no now sometimes the compatibility issues with a certain software and things like that is not due to Linux itself it's to do with the developers of that software that don't support that particular type of operating system so that's where the problem lies now also the good thing about Linux is it doesn't come with a bunch of bloatware 
and telemetry and things like that and data collecting. Now, of course, you don't have to just go with this flavor of uh, Linux. There's a ton of them out there. Just don't end up distro hopping constantly because that just drives you nuts and you end up going back to Windows. So as you can see here, the installation is now complete. We can now restart the computer and remove our USB flash drive from the computer and boot up for the very first time to our new freshly installed Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and let that boot up and we'll see what happens once we get here. Now remember, I'm on a virtual machine, uh, but if you was on a real machine, you'd see exactly the same as what I'm seeing. So you can connect to your online accounts, whether that'll be Microsoft, or Google or whatever it is here. So if you've got a Google account, you can log in and set it all up here. And there's a live patch here. You can sign up to that if you wish. And you can move on to the next stage. Let me just quickly go through these here for you. So help improve Ubuntu. They want you to send information back. If you don't want to do that, by all means, you can opt out and say, do not send any of my system info back. But of course, by sending some information back, it does help them improve their operating system. Again, privacy, this is your location service. This is for your geolocation. They do give you the option to toggle that off. Now, if you do want things like weather and things like that to be told in your area or geolocating, then you will need to have that feature on. Some people turn it off because of the privacy. And here we have all of the software. So you can see a bunch of them here, GIMP and a bunch of other software. There's a ton of software. You've got Plex Media Server, you've got VLC, you've got Discord. You've got loads of stuff here to choose from. So depending on what your needs are, you can see Audacity there, Inkscape, loads of good apps which you can use on Linux and it's very simple and easy to do. Just wants to do a little update here. So let's just click on this and you can uh, install updates now. Very simple and easy to do. Very um, non-intrusive sort of updates the way they do and I do like the way it works so if you've not used Linux before and you want to give it a shot then by all means just follow these steps and you can then go ahead and start to get the benefits of this operating system it's packed with already uh, programs installed here you can see Firefox there's a bunch of other stuff inside here as well I'm not going to spend too much time going over all this you can have a look at it during the live installation so if you don't want to install it on your system but you want to check it out all this of this will be available for you to have a look at before you commit to the installation itself you can see we've got LibreOffice there we've also got Ubuntu software if you click on this it will take you to the Ubuntu software window which will allow you to download and install more software there is heaps of software which you can use for free and install and uh, they're pretty decent some of these software so you've got it in categories here games utilities you can see health and fitness finance productivity all that sort of stuff you know just as you would on any other operating system as well Linux is not short of software it's got loads of decent software which you can use so if you've never used Linux before then maybe give it a go you can choose whatever distro you like this is a pretty straightforward and easy one to use not too bad and you can see you've got your layout here your desktop documents downloads music pictures just as you would on a Windows operating system and uh, they're all laid out here and again it's a pretty secure operating system and it's free you've got your terminal here which I wouldn't expect you to uh, know exactly what to do straight away but it's only the same as it would be on Windows with PowerShell and uh, command prompt window you just have to have the commands to put in there so it's not that much different really and uh, that's going to be about it for this video so if you want any more help or advice or any sort of tutorials then let me know in a comment section below if you want me to see me install this as a dual uh, boot operating system then let me know in a comment section below and i'll do my best to make those videos for you other than that i shall see you again for another video real soon my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day stay safe out there guys Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.